So the question is, how did I ever get possession of these invaluable pieces of art? And to understand these paintings, you have to take a look at Paris in the 1920s. Paris, the 1920s, imagine. Maybe at one time all in the same cafe, Jean Cocteau, Diaghilev, Stravinsky, Picasso. So one of my teachers, Bentley Stone, was Ruth Page's partner, and she had studied with Adolf Bohm. So Diaghilev and Chicago and Paris will all intertwine. Ballet Russe often came to Chicago and shared the same studios as my master. Georges Barbier was a French costume and set designer, as well as a book and fashion magazine illustrator. He was born in Nantes, France in 1882 and died in Paris in 1932. During his life, Barbier was a prolific artist. He produced thousands of drawings and illustrations, but in the years following his death, he was almost completely forgotten. Bentley somehow acquired these paintings, never told me how. And um, uh, the, the rest of the story involves a dinner party. Crazy. So they came back to Vancouver to visit one time. I was no longer dancing. I was a stockbroker then, had a lovely apartment, two fireplaces in Kitsilino, two blocks from the beach, with two fireplaces, dining room, bedroom, was, and I had it all decorated in sort of Victorian quiche from auctions. So that's what I served them. And it was absolutely, I got the best roast. It was a great meat market right downtown then. Party with a great, some great burgundy wine. And um, they went, when they went back to Chicago, they mailed me these paintings. They were a gift. Just like that. And they'll, they'll always be a gift. They'll never be sold. In Boston, the Museum of, Boston Museum of Art was after them for a while. They're quite collectible. Anyway, I love them. And they have a certain magic. And the reason to me that they're so magical, if you think the hands that created this, that touched this, probably also touched Dijinsky's body if he designed costumes for fittings. Pavlova may have seen these. 